Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In this video, we are going to talk about how we can use a SketchUp file in Revit. So I'm going to go to open a new file. I'm going to go with metric architectural template. And uh, first things first, uh, I would like to check the units. I want to type UN. And I want to change this to meters, three decimal places. That seems good. Uh, notice that my Revit is 2021 version. Uh, I'm going to go to insert uh, the same location that we import uh, other CAT files such as DWG file. There's also an option to actually insert .skp or SketchUp file. Uh, so first I want to select my SketchUp file which is in 2020 version. We're going to see what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to leave everything as it is and just going to import it to see what happens. Uh, it says Revit cannot import some of the geometry. That's okay. If you are working with Revit 2020, uh, although SketchUp 2020 has the same name, but uh, you might need to save down to SketchUp 2017 to be able to import the file in Revit 2020, right? But for Revit 2021, SketchUp 2020 works well. So I'm going to go to a different view. Uh, so now the units and everything is good, but notice that uh, we cannot actually uh, work with different elements here. So this is not very helpful. I want to do something else. I want to delete this and instead I want to go to my massing and site. Inside the massing mode, I want to uh, create the in-place mass. Okay mass one that's good and now I want to go to insert so notice that we have the same insert option when we are on the mass edit mode I'm gonna go to import CAD I want to use the same file same settings uh, open so now I want to finish this mass now again you see that uh, we cannot exactly uh, kind of select different elements that we have in the SketchUp but because we used mass what we can do is that we can go to wall wall by face and because this is a mass mode uh, we can click on different walls here and it's going to turn that wall into a Revit wall so um, this is working a little bit better in this case you can actually uh, use by face to turn uh, the SketchUp walls into Revit walls. So we can go ahead and uh, create all the walls in Revit using architecture wall by face. Uh, for the curtain panels, while we are still on the wall by face mode, we can switch to one of the curtain panel walls and we can keep clicking on this area. When the walls are done, we can use a similar approach for the roof. So let's go to roof, roof by face. And I need to click on create roof. Uh, now we can hide the mass, which is the SketchUp file. Uh, and you see it's not perfect, it still needs some work, but uh, that's kind of the easiest way to start uh, using a SketchUp file in your Revit.